Wow, things are changing in a rapid clip. It's like all this information coming in from the 3D field that really leaves you scratching your head. You don't know who to trust. You don't know who to believe. Like, what's happening with this, right? We're in the likes of, like, never having seen this type of information flow before. In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what's happening and what you can do to find or reconnect with that discernment within you, your guidance, and allow that to guide you forward gracefully and truly become an observer uh, of all the noise that's going around externally. We have been thrown into this space of chaos, right? I know when I think about what's happening around the world, what's happening this political season with the election and what's going on in the news and all this information, all of this nonsense. You see, it's all designed to keep you anchored to a lower frequency timeline. There's a lot of confusion out there. There's a lot of chaos and really leaves you in a position that makes you feel like you just don't know who to trust and who to believe. Okay, so that gives you an opportunity for something new to come forward in the midst of that chaos. You see, all of this is designed for you to be able to open up and reconnect with your inner self, with your inner being, your higher self, however you want to term that, the situation that is arising externally, this old dense energy, this old guard is rising up to be seen so that we can remember that we, you, have control, have the power. You've had it all along. All of these organizations are powerless unless you choose on some level to give them that power. So they use all sorts of um, fear tactics to coerce you into giving them your attention, your power, and your belief, okay? Your trust. And when we do that, we become disempowered. You start to trust something that your senses are showing you externally based on some belief you had about how this world works, and that disempowers you. You see, energetically, your energy is flowing out into the field, and that's how these People, these organizations, these external structures that you constantly hear about maintain apparent control over this reality and over you. We are giving our power away. It all begins with us. It begins with you. So we're seeing all of this chaos, and this is giving rise to an opportunity for a huge shift. Now, it starts with you individually. Are you ready to detach from all of that information and all of that noise and all of the fighting and start to trust in you, knowing that you are here for these experiences and that you have the power to create and manifest your reality? Have you heard the phrase that your reality is created by you? Well, subconsciously, many people have a belief that that's all created externally, and that then gives your power away to external situations, circumstances, and forces. And these beliefs create a reality where you feel disempowered, where you feel that you're not in control, where you feel cut off from your higher self and your spirit guides. That is simply not true. That is just a reality that is being manifested by you. I know you're going to say, well... Wait, you said that these external um, organizations, external people out there that I'm reading about and hearing about have control over us. Well, they have apparent control over us because you on some level are giving your power away and believing that you are disempowered and that they are controlling things. We hear it a lot, especially in the election cycle. I'm going to be saved. They're going to come in and save me. Things are so bad. Well, ask yourself this one question. <laughs> How come nobody saved you up till this point, right? You hear the same thing over and over and over again. And here we are in the same situation. These are cycles of energy, dense energy, that have been active for a long, long time. Now, we haven't been as focused on it 
until recently. It's kind of been in the subconscious. Maybe some of it was background noise, but certainly on some level, you were feeding this external thing energy. And that creates an apparent or an illusion that there is some external thing, person, organization that is in control. You, me, we, the collective, the humans, the people have the power. You need to choose. Who are you empowering? When you direct your attention inward and connect in with your sacral, your solar plexus, you are becoming empowered. You are taking energy that was going out and feeding this denser energy in the field and bringing it back in and empowering you. When you do this and you connect with your lower chakras, do it through breath. We do this in a new you. We work and teach how to connect inside, how to get your chakras aligned, how to heal the density. When you learn how to do that, you start to become confident. You start to feel a sense of self-worth. You start to feel empowered. And you start to remember that you are the creator of this reality. You are controlling this reality. As more and more people awaken and remember the truth of who they are, they remember their power, the less energy flows out into the field, meaning these old power structures that were in control no longer have the energy to continue to exist. That is just simply a byproduct of this ascension process. As the earth rises and as you rise in frequency, these dense energies can no longer be hidden. They can no longer be grounded or anchored into this new reality. So they come up into your awareness to be seen, to be felt, to be experienced. And that's what's happening now. It happened through COVID. It's happening through this election cycle. All of this noise, all of this nonsense is an opportunity for you to remember that you hold the keys. You have the power so if you make a conscious choice to remember that and to continue to bring your energy back in here instead of living from that fight or flight fear response based on what you're seeing and based on what you're hearing out there, you will start to become anchored, grounded, and empowered. The density that was holding you to the fear-based timeline will heal. You will take all of that energy that was flowing into the field, bring it back into your body, and bring it back into the whole. You will start to feel more connected to your guides, to your higher self. You will start to have experiences of higher dimensional fields that were there the whole time, but you've been so focused on what's happening in reality externally with all the things we're hearing in the media and in the news and all the things you're reading about that you've turned away from aspects of you that were here the whole time. You are in control. You have the power to change reality. And the more of us that remember that, and the more of us that actively do the work like we're doing in a new you, allows these new realities to manifest. And they will manifest much more quickly. That's what's happening. That's why we're experiencing chaos. All of this subconscious programming, all of this dense energy is rising up seem, seemingly all at once. All of these things are being exposed. All of the control, all of this corruption, all of this power structure, all of these things were designed to keep you in a lower frequency timeline in a state of fear. And subconsciously, we were feeding it our energy, right? We can term that an energy vampire. That is the reality that was feeding our off of our energy keeping us anchored to a lower frequency timeline. Is this a bad thing? It's just a neutral thing. In this dimensional field, we could label things good, we could label things bad, but it's just a circumstance. It's a product of ascension, right? This planet descended into darkness and it is rising up now. And that's what this process looks like. That's how it unfolds on a timeline, right? But it all starts with our choice your choice, your ability to remember that you are in control. You're in control of how you feel. 
you're in control of your thinking, of your thoughts. That's why when we direct it inward, we restore our energy flow. We remove it from the noise that is external, keeping you anchored to a lower frequency timeline. If you're ready to learn how to release those chains that have been making you stuck and anchoring you to these lower frequency timelines, and you want to start to reconnect with the truth of who you are and your higher self, I'm going to drop a link in the description for a 15-minute discovery call with me. My calendar is open for these calls. If you have not taken advantage of one already, definitely take advantage. Schedule a Zoom call with me, and we'll get on, and we'll figure it out together. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you.